I used to walk three miles to go to school under the sun of Africa every day. Xion Yang was born in Senegal. He hopes to inspire these young people at a school in Washington, D.C. to follow his example, to step up and lead. If a young man like me came here with $20 in my pocket and now traveling the world, engaging young people around the world, I'm telling you that everything is possible. That young man was born into poverty. Xion's father had three wives and there were 28 children. I, at a very young age, I, I looked at my mom, this beautiful lady that had so much pain in her face. I told her that day that you don't have to cry. One day, if, if I make it, I will make sure I'll take care of you. Xion Yang did make it, all the way to helping an American president get elected. Xion discovered a love for grassroots politics in Ohio, where he worked his way through college and began working on Democratic Party campaigns. He says young people have to get involved. And every decision that's been made mostly in your life, in the future of your country or your future, or your, the future of your family, your children, is controlled by politicians. So I'd rather be me personally, be in the table that the decision makers, makers are, than waiting for them to make the decision for me. Xion Yang always helped out his family back in Senegal. And in 2009, he launched the nonprofit Give One Project to promote social, economic, and political advancement of young people. Like this school inauguration in Benin, Give One has projects in several African countries, as well as in Europe and the U.S. Well, you go to Africa, it's not only sometimes the leaders, most of them are corrupted, but even people who are not in offices, you know, they are very, very corrupted. It's like the whole society almost. It's the same, and the, the, the leadership just reflects what you see on the ground. And that's what we're trying to do to change that with the new generation, that corruption is not a normal thing. And we can't move our countries forward unless we eliminate that. In his adopted homeland, Xian has won recognition in his own right as a political leader. He is often interviewed on developments in Africa, like here at The Voice of America. He consults Americans on democracy in Africa and Africans on foreign investment. Xian says he is following his dreams. What I wanted to do is to give a chance to those who don't maybe have that chance that I had. Give them an opportunity that maybe I didn't have or nobody gave me before. Or empower those who might not have nobody to empower them, to tell them that it's okay, it's going to be rough, uh, it's going to be difficult, but everything is really possible. Xian calls Senegal his mother and the U.S. his father. He says he wants to follow the path of great leaders who are remembered for what they did to change people's lives. <laughs>